How big would the hole be that you have to drill and then replace with this piece? It's optional. <laughs> it can be hard to fathom the sheer speed at which technology seems to be advancing. More and more inventions that were popularized through decades of science fiction are now becoming a reality. Virtual reality has been making its way into society in recent years. But the next level, augmented reality, or AR, is not far behind. This new technology combines virtual reality with the real world by overlaying a visual layer over the environment and allowing users to interact with virtual elements just as they would real objects. Not only would this change our daily lives at home by building interfaces directly into our homes, the way we do everything may change. Companies like Meta are creating a virtual augmented reality that will alter the way we go about our day-to-day -day lives. School may become far more interactive. Shopping for everything from groceries to a new car may be able to be done in an entirely virtual space. Imagine driving down the road and having your route appear as an arrow in front of you to follow. Are you ready to live in an augmented reality? For like 20 grand, you can clone yeah. your dog. Yeah, so the it's kind of creepy. It is, it's bizarre. A clone is an exact genetic copy of an organism, tissue, cell, or gene. The cloning of entire organisms is by far the most complex form as scientists must take a cell from the subject, isolate its nucleus, and inject it into an egg whose genome was removed. From there, the clone embryo must grow and develop just as if it was created through a natural process. Since then, a number of advances in the understanding of genetics and new technologies have allowed scientists to further cloning technology. Scientists have used this new technology to create a more efficient process to create medications such as insulin and for rapid production of vaccines. But much more can be achieved with this new technology that could have a dramatic impact on medical outcomes around the world. Even Joe Rogan has caught on to this trend when the company uses this advanced technology to take mammoth DNA and attempt to bring the species back from the dead. And advancements are not stopping anytime soon. Researchers have already been successful in cloning a primate and have applied what they have learned to develop lab-grown organs which can be used for transplants with a drastically reduced chance of rejection. And while the debate rages on regarding the morality of cloning humans, the technology isn't up to that level of sophistication. The development of brain-computer interface, or BCIs, have been in development since computers began to make their way into the mainstream of society. This technology has been used to help paralyzed people control assistive devices with their thoughts and blind people get a portion of their vision back. But the applications of this type of technology don't stop there. Imagine if you had access to the entire internet with a simple thought. What would it be like to control your phone and computer without having to move a muscle? You wouldn't need to talk. <laughs> when you said you won't have to talk to each other anymore, we used to joke around about that. I, I've joked around about that a million times on this podcast, yeah. that one day in the future there's going to come a time where you will transfer data back and forth to each other without having to actually use your mouth. Elon Musk even went into more detail about his company Neuralink when he was a guest on the JRE and discussed how they are working to make this technology available to everyone in order to boost what the human race is capable of. According to him, devices like these are not too far off either. The first runs of BCIs may be rolled out in the next few years that will give users control over some computer functions using only their thoughts. But could there be downsides to devices like this? An invisible barrier around yourself may seem impossible to have in reality, but a few companies have already developed the first type of devices that can do just that. Boeing has developed a force field generating device to be used in combat zones to protect vehicles from powerful shockwaves. The device uses an electric arc generator, lasers, as well as a microwave generator to rapidly heat up air around the vehicle so much that it creates a dense plasma that forms a bubble around the vehicle. The plasma bubble will reflect the majority of the force from a shockwave, creating a safe environment within the field. This technology has also been used to create plasma windows, mimicking the hangar bays on the Death Star, although on a much smaller scale inside of particle accelerators. Plasma windows instead of glass are used to keep the true vacuum inside the accelerator separate from the atmosphere outside. 
And while this type of force field cannot stop physical objects such as shrapnel, it is only the first step in the development of more powerful force fields. Everyone who has watched Star Trek has dreamed of spending some time on the ship's holodeck. Being able to immerse yourself in a virtual world that can be controlled by you has motivated many scientists into trying to make this a reality. One company, Light Field Labs, has already begun to work on creating an immersive virtual reality that does not require any headgear and will generate holographic forms of entertainment visible to the naked eye. It's not clear when they will be completed with their prototype, but being able to dive into a virtual environment may be just around the corner. But holodecks are not the piece of Star Trek technology that is slowly making its way into reality. Imagine being able to travel across virtually any distance in an instant. Quantum physics may hold the keys to unlocking teleportation and bringing it into our reality. Physicists have already been able to prove quantum teleportation is real and have been able to transmit information between nodes instantly. By using a feature of quantum entanglement, what Einstein famously called spooky action at a distance, researchers were able to link two nodes and pass information between the two. And while this form of teleportation is not nearly at the level of beam me up Scotty, or even to teleport matter, scientists are enthralled with the possible applications of this technology. Our electronics today can only work as fast as light can travel inside the system. But if physicists can master quantum teleportation, this limitation will be eliminated. And while this may not drastically increase the speed of information transfer on Earth, it will have a major impact on communication and information transfer between Earth and spacecraft far beyond the planet. Who knows, this type of communication may come in handy sooner than you think. Ever since the human species began to walk this planet, we have looked towards the stars with awe, dreaming of leaving this planet and exploring what lies beyond. Just over a decade ago, mankind achieved a major step in this goal. The first spacecraft, Voyager 1, flew out past the outer barrier of our solar system. Scientists are working hard to build new technologies to send us far out into the cosmos. And people like Elon Musk are preparing for the human race to spread itself across the galaxy. Physicists have already theorized several different crafts that have the possibility to travel fast enough that it makes interstellar travel worthwhile. One of these hypothetical spacecraft takes inspiration from the way certain birds use the wind to gain speed as they fly through the air. This type of craft would pick up the stream of charged particles being generated by the sun to accelerate faster than any current technology would allow. Theoretically, riding the solar winds could speed the ship up to 2% of the speed of light in just two years, a whopping speed of nearly 6 million meters per second. That's like traveling from LA to New York in less than a second. Still, it would take years to reach the closest star, but it makes the possibility of human settlements outside of our solar system a very real possibility. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the leaked photos from space that you can't unsee.